welcome. If you're new here, you may not know, I am primarily a Maven user. Maven is an aftermarket app for adding functionality to DJI drones. In that space, Litchi is the big dog. Litchi is number 16, I believe, in the iOS app store under photography where Maven is 101, somewhere around that level. Some of the main differences I'm aware of, Litchi, 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 we're going to go with Leechy. Leechy is available on both Android and iOS, where Maven is only an iOS app. Leechy is also available for the DJI Smart Controllers. Another big difference, and that's where we're going to start today, the Leechy Mission Hub. With Maven, you're going to program your waypoint missions in the app. With Leechy, you can go to the Mission Hub, log in, create your Waypoint mission, and then sync that to your device, whether your phone in the app or the uh, DJ. So to start off today, we're going to go over the Mission Hub, some of the features. You can switch between map and satellite view. We're going to go ahead and leave that on satellite view. You can turn on labels. This uses Google Maps as its map engine. Um, that's useful if you're trying to find some place you're not familiar with. I think it clutters up the map too much for what I'm using it for. So I'm going to turn that off. If you are positioned someplace else or you want to return back to where the interwebs thinks your computer is, click the home button. It'll center you back on your current location. So to start off, I'm going to click the settings button. It defaults to metric. I'm going to switch it to freedom units. Gives you a heading mode, whether it's auto, initial, manual, or custom. We'll leave it in custom. It lets you set the action of what you want to do when the drone has finished the waypoint mission. You can do nothing, return to home, land, go back to the first waypoint or reverse fly the, the mission. Your path mode can be either straight lines or curved lines. We're going to leave that on curve. You can set your cruising speed, which is your default speed when you build a mission. Um, it was up around 17 miles an hour. I dropped it down. I'm going to drop it down a little bit further and I'm going to go to seven miles an hour. I know with Maven, the slower you go, the smoother the mission is. Uh, max flight speed defaults to 18.1, which is 29.2 kilometers per hour. We're just going to go ahead and leave that. Photo capture, either interval of seconds or distance, we'll not mess with that. And the default curve size is 75%. Gimbal pitch mode can be disabled, set to focus on the POI or interpolate, which will slowly move. If you've got different headings on two different waypoints, it will slowly move from the first heading to the second. We'll leave that on point of interest. Uh, show discover missions is turned on, and I'm gonna leave that on, we'll explain that later, and using online elevation. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that. To start off, if you click the help button, it tells you what the controls do to build your mission. So a left click is gonna add a waypoint, Right click is going to add a POI, point of interest. You can insert or delete the current selection. Uh, left arrow changes the selection, left and right arrow changes the selection between the two, uh, going between waypoints or points of interest. Control or command on a Mac and left click will select multiple waypoints. If you want to batch edit, you want to change the altitude on multiple waypoints. Shift left click, adds a waypoint and snaps it to an axis, and shift and drag a waypoint, drags a waypoint and snaps it to an axis. So let's go ahead and close that down. And I'm going to zoom in. There's the dome at City Hall. So I'm going to go ahead and right click, which adds a point of interest. It defaults to three feet altitude. So I'm going to change that and set it to the point of interest to focus at about 15 feet. We'll close that. And let's add some waypoints. So the first thing I'm going to do is pick a waypoint. I'm going to left click to do that. 
It gives me the lat long, the altitude, which is currently at 98 feet. I want that to be a little bit lower, so I'm going to set that to 25. The, cru the speed is currently set to the cruising speed that we set in the default settings. I'm going to leave it at that. And the curve size is at zero. Let's put that at 25. The heading is 267 degrees, which is the heading from that first waypoint that I put in to my point of interest. The interval photography is marked as disabled. If I click the pencil, I can set that to take a picture ever so many feet or ever so many seconds. Let's turn that off. Actions, I have no actions defined at this point, so I'm going to hit the plus. I get my different options for actions on that waypoint. I can stay for a set number of seconds, take a photo, start recording, stop recording, rotate the aircraft, or tilt the camera. I'm going to start recording on that first one. I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to set another waypoint. Now we started off at 25 feet. I want that between those two to raise to 125 feet. Continues about the same heading, and I'm just going to quickly go through. Uh, left clicking and dragging will allow you to move the mouse. I'm going to just quickly go through and add some waypoints here. We're just doing a quick waypoint mission for the purpose of this demonstration. All right, so I've got just a quick, dirty rotation around the dome there. Um, I can, using the arrow keys on the waypoint settings, I can scroll back through those. Let's take and drop that down at that point to 75 feet. Now, if I want to drop all of these down to 75 feet, I can control and click on all of those. And then I can change the elevation on all of those at the same time. And then apply. Now, as I'm going... I can reposition these waypoints by left clicking and hold and dragging those waypoints wherever I want them. And then I'm going to go to the final waypoint and I'm going to add another action and I'm going to tell it to stop recording. So now if I click on the missions button, I can save that. Let's call this leachy first attempt and save it we've got that created we've got it saved all right let's jump over to the app and we'll see how to import that mission into the app so i'm in the leachy app upper left hand corner i selected a waypoint mission you can see i'm disconnected i don't have the drone connected and i can click on the file for folder and there is that mission that we just built on the pc it's already synced and I can select it and then load it, and there's my mission. So in a little bit, we'll go out, fly this mission, and see how it does. All right. We've got the drone powered up. A little windy, cloudy day. I've got the Leachy app open. I'm going to tap this folder. I'm going to open the Litchi first attempt or first attempt because I've got fat fingers. Loads that mission up. Let's go ahead and get the drone up in the air. Get it up to altitude. And let's press the start button. I'm going to start from waypoint one. And there goes the drone. See the little 
triangle icon on the screen shows where the drone currently is. See how the turns handle the wind. Seems relatively smooth on here. We'll see once we get the footage off. down to the 75 feet we hit on that waypoint. Circling around. Turns seem a little bit jerky, but we can we can fix that in editing. Notice on the screen it's showing that I've got the camera set in auto the ISO of 160 and 130th, 1 over 30 uh, aperture, or shutter speed, I'm sorry, 1 over 30 shutter speed, and an f2.8. first attempt at doing a waypoint mission with the Leechy app. Uh, first impressions, I really like the mission hub. I like being able to plan a mission on a PC and then transfer that to the app. I will continue to use the Maven app. I like the virtual co-pilot. I think the interface is intuitive and the functions are what I need. But uh, I can see why Leechy is as popular as it is. Thank you, and I'll be back next week with another episode of Learning Leechy. Please remember to hit that subscribe button, and I appreciate your time. Thank you.